This is my old camera. My Nikon D3300, first camera I've ever bought. I think I started my channel in 20, late 2014. In 2015, I decided I want to get serious about making videos, and I wanted to buy my first camera. I didn't have a lot of money, but I had enough money to buy a D3300. I bought a refurbished, and it came with a, a lens, a kit, what they call a kit lens. 18 to 55 lens, it's on full frame, it'd be something like a, a 24 to 70. If we're talking micro four thirds, it'd be something like a, a 14 to 35 or something, whatever. It gives you all your major focal lengths, what you call standard focal lengths, and at the low end, it'll give you some wide angle, and at the high end, it'll give you just barely a little telephoto. I don't need this one anymore because it can't do the video that I really wanted to do. I'm wanting to shoot in 4K, I'm wanting to get more cinema like effects and things like that. APS C sensor, it's a good camera to quote unquote learn on. Um, it's really a photo camera that can shoot some video. It takes an SD card, doesn't come with it, you gotta buy your own. Uh, it has HDMI input or HDMI out. Why did I buy it? Like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of money to spend. I didn't have like a thousand dollars to spend on a camera, so I bought this one for, it was less than, it was about 300 or slightly less than that because I bought refurbished, you know, uh, plus the lens. It came with a battery charger and it came with this battery and I since bought two other batteries the other ones in the house somewhere it's really not a video camera I'm gonna be honest with you it, it's a still camera that has video capability so if you've never shot video with an SLR or what they call a digital SLR, SLR you can learn on this one um, Roberto Blake he, he's, he teaches people about YouTube and how to take their art and love for the arts and try to flesh it out and make a living with it he was at the time shooting with a D3300, no, a D3200, which was the old one. And this was back in the day where if you were shooting at 720p, boy, you had the equipment. You were like king of the hill. I very quickly went from 720p to 1080p. This thing shoots pretty decent 1080p on here. I usually, in the later times, have shot with a flat profile or a neutral profile and turned down the sharpness, turned down the contrast. Uh, and turned down the um, saturation and then just started doing a little grading in post here it's lightweight because it's just plastic all around the lens is plastic so it's lightweight compared to say the GH4 which I'm using which is all metal body and all metal lens is from the old APS-C chip is very close to what we would call motion picture 35 millimeter you know that's why I always often say that to me APS-C is full frame but uh, a, a true full frame camera has the, f the, the, the chip in here, the actual sensor here, you see that actually looking at the mirror there, um, is the size of a still 35 millimeter which, a film which is much bigger and motion picture 35 millimeter is much smaller, super 35 is, it, is the same size as motion picture film but they just use more of the film to, to burn the image onto. Uh, kind of like what Panasonic is doing with the G5S. It just uses more of the sensor or whatever, things like that. It's, it's, like, it's almost like a super micro four thirds or something. That's what we. That's what they would have called it in yesteryear. But um, it's for sale. I'm gonna put it up for sale on my website. Hundred bucks. You know, paid like three hundred dollars for this thing. I let it go for a hundred bucks. Um, you know, ten dollars to ship it. So just if you're interested check it out on the website it needs a home as well just like my saxophone that I stole I didn't want to do a whole cinematic thing just for this little thing but if you're, if you want to experiment with a DSLR camera you can buy this one uh, if you're wanting to buy a new one I would definitely recommend it just go ahead and get a Panasonic GH4 but if you don't want to spend more than like a hundred dollars this is not a bad inning it's not a bad deal to kind of get started to see if you like it camera takes amazing still images so even if you don't want to use it for video you still have a very good still image camera I don't know man b-roll
know you had anything, right? <laughs> you ever done that? You're gonna oh, I'll just reel up and head back up, and then you like something you had something on that whole time. Oh, female, not too bad. Wow, not too bad. She's pregnant too. Stay in here. Stay in here.